The internet has revolutionized how we communicate, but when people use that power to humiliate, to bully or to threaten, do social media platforms do enough to limit the damage? They would post rumors, lies, abuse about me. Nicola won a landmark case against Facebook, forcing the firm to reveal the identities of her online tormentors. The social networks need to clamp down on it once and for all. And if they don't do that, then the government needs to crack down on them and make them, make them sort it out. The government is proposing making internet giants pay a tax to fund measures that deal with online abuse and a new code of practice specifying what kind of content firms must remove. But both measures would be voluntary, a watering down of a Tory manifesto pledge to bring in new laws. So if these firms break the code, will you fine them? Well, we're perfectly prepared to legislate. Uh, the nature Why of not do the legislation now? Because the nature of the internet and the nature of the social media platforms is that uh, it's far better to do things with them. It's far easier for them to do uh, takedowns of bad material or uh, abusive accounts, for instance. Uh, and so it is better done together, um, but we're perfectly prepared to legislate if we need to. As one-fifth of 12 to 15-year-olds have come across something worrying or nasty online, the new strategy focuses on making social media safer for kids. It kind of comes up with something like someone is trying to reach out and like text you, and it's quite scary, you know. Sometimes you have people that you don't know, so you don't want them to know what you're doing 24-7 in your daily life. People will usually say something online which they would never say to someone's face. The internet giants all say they're looking forward to working with the government. Their wholehearted support will be needed for this strategy to succeed. Catherine Jones, 5 News.